like other gourds and vegetables, the fertilization process of the wild pumpkin is quite involved. During late autumn, prize-winning pumpkins are sent out to stud. They are transported to more favorable climates, then shipped back to local mating grounds in mid-spring. During the return shipment, the studs are packed in an alcoholic solution containing vodka and schnapps to preserve their freshness and ready them for the mating season, which lasts from late May to early July. Emerging from their stupor, the orange-hued gourds are aggressive and horny. Three pumpkins face off. They use their booze-soaked members in a jousting match, fighting until one of the pumpkins is left with a severed penis. That pumpkin becomes the lone female. The remaining males must forage for Halloween candy to offer as a mating gift to the female. The males approach the female with their bundles of brightly wrapped sweets, she chooses her suitor based on who has the biggest package. The winning male gets to mate with the female while she is distracted eating candy. It takes 20 minutes for the sperm reservoir to be filled in the female pumpkin. If she finishes eating the candy before 20 minutes is up, she rejects the male and turns to the second male consuming his offering while he takes a turn. Once the fertilization process is complete, the pumpkin farmer shakes the female pumpkin all over the pumpkin patch, sowing all the seeds into next year's harvest. Then the female pumpkin devours the farmer alive. In spite of his screams for mercy, the other farmers refrain from providing any aid or assistance because it is understood that an annual sacrifice must be made for that year's harvest. Thank you.